Hello, I'm Chef Aaron World, and I can already guess what you're asking. Why? Why? Would you be making a cooking video, Aaron? What you see is I need the views very, very bad. So we're first going to start off with a big bowl of my own cocaine powdery bowl of brownie mix. Shake it up just a little bit. Get your fingers out of there. All right. Next, you're going to grab some eggs and you're going to crack them right of the edge of the bowl. Oh! <laughs> Can't believe it. Me using an actual box to cook brownies. What am I, some low class YouTuber? Next step, you're gonna get some water. I suggest getting one fourth of a cup, about just a little bit. Next, you're going to add one fourth of a vegetable oil also into the bowl as well. Then pour both already. Now, earlier I already poured the water in there and forgot to film it, so you're just seeing you just pour the vegetable oil. Once then, you're almost close and ready enough to get ready to steer. Now you're gonna wanna get a one big floppy whisk for your brownies, one of them nice and big and black for them to come out of the oven. And once then, you stick it into your brownie mix and you just start stirring away. Now, as you can tell at this part of the video, we can see that it's starting to work just as fine as rain. Now, of course, though, it's gonna take some time to get to the actual level that it needs, but that's what patience is for. And look at that, we have almost a good full bowl of brownie mix. Now, I would like to say though, when you get to this certain part, you might need to get a sturdier whisk for you to stir it up because your floppy one might not be strong enough to whisk it all together. After that, you can see just like Charm, the metal one works fine. Now once you get done to a stopping stirring point, you're pretty much ready for the pan already. It'll be pretty thick, but it's fine already. So now, we have our pan. Now what you want to do is you want to grease up your pan first because it's obviously going to stick to the pan if you don't do anything about it. So give it a good little spray and uh, you know, wait a couple of seconds for it to soak in. Now the pan is ready for our brownie. Go ahead and pour it into the pan and be very careful with it. Like I said earlier, it's very thick, so it could be very hard to get out, but if you try too hard, you might cause a mess. You'll probably see a little bit around the table that I kind of started a mess, but if as long as it's not a big mess, then it should be fine. 
Uh, but also make sure you take your time with porting out because it can tire out your hand with how pretty much thick it is. Once you're done doing that, you can stick it in your mouth. Um. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Once you've done it there, then you can go ahead and put your brownies inside. Now, just to let you know, also be careful how much time you put on the brownie because it can really differ on how long you put it in there. It can range from either for 30 minutes to 20 minutes to however long it could be. Depending on how big the pan is, you really need to go a good estimate on it. But if you know already, if you made brownies before, then it shouldn't be really a big deal. And like I said, bake for 30 minutes or less until it cooks and looks like a giant pan of baked black skin. They seem to be turning out just all right, just all right. You kind of see at the top there, it kind of starts to form a little bit of a layer. That means it's starting to cook. Alright, and there we go. As you can see, it kind of stabbed it a couple of times, but you know, flavor stabs like usual. Um, but it pretty much came out alright. And now, you can serve this to your Thanksgiving people. Happy belated Thanksgiving. Alright, well if you guys actually like this video, go ahead and put a thumbs up. And if you guys hated this video, go ahead and put a thumbs up. Either way, put a thumbs up, or I'll see you later tonight in your bedroom. Have a nice day!